Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and show you this really pretty cute stitch with this Bernat baby blanket. I think it would make a great baby blanket. I'm using a J hook and I think it's really cute the way it says 29 cents on it. I don't know if this is just an old hook, but I just think it's really cute. So what you would do is just go ahead and chain however big you want your blanket or how wide you want it to be. I'm just going to show you the stitch, so I'm not going to make this too large. But I think this stitch doesn't use a lot of yarn. It's pretty, um, pretty thick and comfy with not a lot of holes. So I'm not going to go into that first stitch. I'm going to go into the second one. And what I'm going to do is do a single crochet all the way across. This is going to be our base for our blanket. I love this yarn. It's so soft and puffy. So if you use a bigger hook, of course, your stitches will be bigger, bigger. So you can kind of decide how tight you want your stitches to be. But I like using this hook just because it made it nice and tight so that a lot of air wouldn't be going through it. I'm just going through that top strand of the chain. So I'm going to go in my last stitch here. I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And my chain is always my last stitch. And that's going to count as a single crochet, so I'm not going to go into that first V right there. I'm going to go into the second, do a single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then everywhere that in between your stitches you're going to go into. So I'm going to skip the first opening. Sorry, you're going to skip the first opening. Do a single crochet, chain one. You're going to skip the next opening. Skip that first opening and go into the second. Do a single crochet, chain one. You're going to skip that first opening and go into the second. It's your repeat row. I just think this stitch is so cute. And I did this on my thermal blanket where I uh, changed the color and it looks really cute. So you could change the colors also with this Burnett Baby. So at the end, I just went into that um, opening and then I chained one. I'm going to go into that first opening and I'm going to do a single crochet. Chain one. Go into the opening of the chain one from the previous round and do my single crochet. Chain one. Go into that opening and you can see this is our repeat row and we'll be using this or you will be using this for the rest of your blanket. When you come to the end, make sure that you always go into the top of that chain or the opening there. It's up to you. And turn your work. Going to go into that first opening there. And do your single crochet. And just keep going all the way across and then you're going to turn and do it again and just keep doing it until you are done with your blanket when you get to the end you could turn and do a single crochet in each stitch just to uh, finish it off since that's what we did at the beginning but this is a really nice stitch i really like it and i think that um i think that it's really nice and tight and i like the way it looks so I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you all are having a great day. Stay safe, and I will be back again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.